G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thanks so much for joining me today. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my big, gorgeous fish. And I'm going to do some bees and flowers. So as you can see, sort of that yellowy orange kind of tones. Now I've got these stickers. Uh, <clears throat> this and this came in a set. And I've just drawn around where I want to put it. So I've done that. And then just kind of drawn around here <clears throat> where I'm going to cut it out. So that one's going to go there. And then this one I thought I'd just kind of put there. And then I'm going to put some of these flowers <clears throat> around that sort of thing. So the first thing I need to do is I need to put the eyes in. So these are 8mm eyes. They're the same size that I use for my little turtle, 8mm, and I've just cho chosen something that's kind of in the same colour scheme, the yellow and, and orange tones. So, I um, might use my little UV torch today rather than get the big lamp out. So the eyes are down, down in there. So let's just pop a little drop on first. Now you could do it the other way, you could put the UV resin in there, in the eye. That might be the easier way actually than <laughs> trying to do it this way. I seem to always do it backwards for some reason. I don't know. Alright, let's just pop that in there. Like so. Can't really see what I'm doing. Just going to make that level there. Okay, so that, I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. And then I'll do this side as well. And then I'll do the other one. So what I thought I would do is, like it's quite deep down here. But then up here it's not so deep. So I need to first fill the mould with just clear resin <clears throat> up to up to the level where it's the same sort of height all over from the from the top, same height all over, and none of this um, fin is kind of poking through so that I can then put my stickers over the top. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's do the other one. And I think I'll do it this way rather. I'll put the put a little drop in there. Like so. Oops, spilt on there. And then take my little eye. Whoops. Whoops. Dropping things. Take my little eye. And just oh, poke it in there. Like so. So if you did, um, I'm just going to get some alcohol on my little baby wipe there. I kind of dripped a little bit of that UV resin down the side there. Just give it a wipe, otherwise it's going to cure on there. Make sure that you've got your eye pointing the right way. And we'll go again. sure it's pointing the right way because you want them to sort of be on the side you don't want them to be lying down because the eyes are on the side of the fish so try and get you'll feel the little um, the little kind of indentation there where the eye needs to go so it just needs to sort of stand up on its side rather than lay flat and hopefully I've got that all right you can just sort of sit there can you sit there for a minute all right, I'll hold it. <laughs> I'll, um, I'm going to do both of them and the outside as well, and uh, then I'll come back to you. All right, oh, let's, uh, let's cut this while that's just doing its thing. So I'm going to cut on the inside of my black line. It doesn't have to be exactly fitting in. Just roughly, really. Really? 
Now I haven't used these before. I don't think it's a like a sticker. I'm not sure, but I'm not even going to try and like peel it off because yeah, I'm just going to put it down face down into the resin. Um, I might try just like one of these little off-cut pieces. I might just try <laughs> one of those and see if um, if it actually comes apart. But I don't know if it will. So you're gonna make sure that you've cut all your black line off, otherwise that will show up. Or you could just get your isopropyl and, and a wipe and just clean up around the sides. I think that'll do. Turn that off. So basically, so there's our little B. And <clears throat> I am going to just trim a little bit more just around these here. But again, you don't, don't have to. You know, it's your bit of art. You just do whatever you want to do with it. But I am just going to trim a little bit. To you how much you want to keep like so I like that. All right, let's see how that's going to fit. And then if I need to trim any more off, I can. All right, so I'm going to have to take a little bit more off here. Or I could do that and take a little bit more off the back, rather. So I've got quite a lot of room at the back there. I don't want to take any more off his little antenna there, so I think I'll do it that way. And uh, <clears throat> you just get your marker and just sort of say, okay, I need to take it back to about there. About there-ish. And, uh, and trim that up as well. I've tried and I can't, can't get this apart. So unless I'm just not trying hard enough, but I... I don't think it's that it's a sticker. It's got this like feels kind of like sand on the back, like powder or sand, and I think that's probably what's holding the the image on. But anyway, this is what I'm going to do. So that's fitting in there nicely. That one. I'll just take a little bit more off this back bit here. I think that fits nicely there. Alright, so that's where those two are going to go. Around here, I'm just going to put these uh, gorgeous dried or pressed flowers. And I'm going to back it with black. I think black would look really nice. Um, oh, I, was, I was tossing up between black or, or white. So I may still even do white. But either way, I thought um, this little area down here, I'm not going to do the actual body but the actual fin there I'm just going to put some um, like gold or orange or, or something in there just that little bit that that sticks up um, and then the rest of it can be can be flowers I'm going to use this one let's resin chameleon powder maple it's sort of an orangey orangey gold and hopefully I won't get it on the actual scales just want it to be just on this little area here. So I'm being very careful not to get it everywhere else. 
I have my resin ready to go. This is the Platinum River Table resin. You can pour it up to five centimeters, which I don't need, but oh, maybe in there I will. But yeah, so it's it's a good one. It's a good one to use. Uh, really cost efficient as well. Now, uh, before I pour, I'm gonna just spray a little bit of this isopropyl just all over just to kind of break the surface tension of the resin and hopefully um, not get any bubbles all right so as you can see I just finished that I had to get my head right over here to see what I was doing and I thought well <laughs> you don't want to see the back of my head in the, the video so I just did it all right now remember we're pouring just enough to cover all these little thin areas and then I'm gonna put the sticker on well I call I'm calling it a sticker but it's not really a sticker is it I did make up two cups of resin I don't know that I'll need all of it but uh, like these areas up here they're not as deep as you know way down here so this was my those are still poking up a little bit so those are the areas that I need to cover and that'll be determining what height everything else kind of goes to that's poking up a little bit there as well it's a very 3d very 3d mold beautiful mold I will link it for you down below if you want it um, at the moment it's in my eBay store but it will be coming to my Amazon store very soon just not there yet <laughs> all right now this is still poking up a little bit there I can see that so I have chosen these uh, flowers which are pressed which are not not sort of thick flour so they kind of just sit over the top Actually, I'm gonna to have to use all of this that's poking out as well and I, I'm not I'm not sure I mean two minds about okay I'm gonna use all this uh, two cups of resin I mean two minds about whether I put the sticker down now in the wet resin or whether I need to wait I think I'm going to do it now. <laughs> I am. I'm going to do it now. Just because sometimes when I've waited, um, actually, there's no sticker going there anyway. Uh, sometimes when I've, I've waited, um, I've ended up getting bubbles underneath, like my flower or my sticker or something. Whereas if I do it now, hopefully, hopefully I won't get bubbles underneath. Let's clean off my stick. Favourite mixing stick. I know it's looking a bit grotty, but it's my favourite. Clean off my hands with the isopropyl. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's nerve wracking. There's a little bit of the fin just poking up through there still, but I think it'll be alright. Just be careful not to torch it. I'm going to make sure there's no bubbles getting trapped. So. Oh gosh, this is nerve-wracking, this is nerve-wracking. It's just a bit of that alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol. I thought it was a bubble, but it, I don't think it is. I think it's just the, the isopropyl. Now I'm kind of leaning more towards doing a white background instead of the black. What do you all think? Do you think that'll be nice? All right, let's just do this. Oh, I'm going to start with the small one first because it's easier. Make sure it's clean. It's got no dust or bits of hair or anything on it. So I'm going to kind of, gonna kind of like sink it, like you would do like a maybe a like a water slide type thing. Let's see if I can actually just sink it like so. Mm, 
wish I could see what the other side was doing. I can't see. Oh. And I can see that little bit of fin there is still sticking up out of the um, out of the resin. But I'll just put this like so. Okay, that's covered. It's covered. Woohoo! Okay, so that's that done. Now, the big one. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I've only got one bee sticker. I bought I bought a few. These from um, Timu. Uh, just search. Well, I searched bee stickers. I've got flowers. I've got butterflies. I've got horses. I bought a few. I kind of went a bit crazy. Bought a few different things. But, uh, you know, they're relatively relatively cheap, so I didn't spend a lot. Alright, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! I don't know what to do here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of just slide it in. See, I have no idea whether or not I'm going to be trapping bubbles on the other side. And I think just to be on the safe side, how about we just... Whoops. It's nearly empty. I'm going to spray that side as well just to be on the safe side and hopefully, 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 hopefully I'm not getting any bubbles trapped underneath it. Push like this, hopefully any bubbles will kind of push out. Yeah, I don't know, I hope there's none in there, I hope there's none under there. Gosh, I can't tell, I can't tell, but I hope, I hope not. I'll just give it a bit of a poke like this as well. I want it to go sort of underneath and hopefully by poking it, if there is a bubble trapped under there, it might come out. But I don't see any sort of popping out the sides here. So maybe, maybe we're okay. Maybe it's all good. Let's cover that up. We don't need to have resin over the top of it, but I am anyway. Hopefully that's going to fit. Okay, this this is kind of dropped a little bit. I think it'll be fine. This probably just needs to have a little, a little tiny bit cut off that edge there because it's making that corner drop. Um, okay, I'm just going to lift and just snip off a tiny bit there. Yeah, we don't see any bubbles under that. Okay. Alright, that's done. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to clean my scissors. I've got resin on them. I'll remember to do that in a minute. Okay, so next step. Next step. Um, actually, I think it's that bit there that's touching to make it look as if it's dropping down. But look, I don't think it's going to matter. I think once you've unmolded it, and I don't think it's going to matter because it's got all these like fins on the other side. I should probably put some of these in now. Here we go. Oh, there's plastic over those as well. Gosh. Alright. Plastic everywhere. Ooh, okay, here we go. Now these <laughs> which which is the right side? Oh, that's the right side. Now this is gonna be a little bit more tricky, I think, because I am not really going to know if there's a bubble underneath it. I'm kind of, kind of wondering if I need to, like, dip it, make sure that it's wet, and then put 
put it there. I kind of just want that one to go there. So basically, I'm just going to add these, <clears throat> add these flowers. Um, I do. I'm going to need a little bit more resin, you guys. This bit here is poking out. That bit there is poking out. So I'm actually going to mix up just another uh, three ounces or so, hundred grams, uh, because I can't go around and put flowers here on top of that. So I'm going to have to stop right there and um, mix some more resin. Righto, here we go, another little bit of resin. I'll have to make a note of how much I use to bring it just to cover those little fins there. Okay, that looks, nope, not quite. <laughs> Oh gosh. Now, um, I may use some of this if I can put it into like a shallow dish of some kind. Um, what can I use? What can I use? It's still leveling itself out. I'm not going to have a very deep background, that's for sure, but that's okay. I don't need a very deep background. What are you doing? Oh, you're moving because I've just put resin in there. Okay. That tent, I put I pushed this one down under the resin because <clears throat> it kept floating away on top. So I think pushing them down is going to um, work a little bit better. All right, let's start placing some of these flowers. Hey, so that's the back. So obviously that's the front. It's going to go face down. Now this is where oh, I really want to get a little, a little something. That'll do. Little little cup. Just put enough in there that I can wet. Whoops! I'm really careful not to break it. I'm taking the plastic with me. So I'm gonna pop that in there. Just kind of coat it first. Hopefully I won't break it. Ooh. Okay, that's... <gasps> yeah, maybe that's not such a good idea. Probably would have been all right with the small one, but with the bigger one, it's um, more tricky. I'm gonna unfold that little petal there. It's like operating. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. All right. So that's that one. Now I just have to flip it over. Okay, so maybe this is not going to be a good idea to wet them first. You don't know until you've tried it. <laughs> Alright, you can just stay there then, as long as you want to stay there. I just thought maybe if I wet it, like maybe I wouldn't, um, you know, trap bubbles underneath, but maybe if I hold it in the middle like so. Maybe that'll work. Push it in. Alright, so I'm not going to bore you with watching me do all of this. I'll put you on a time lapse because I'm going to take my time. Uh, and just hopefully we won't have bubbles underneath.
Right, it's the next day. This has cured. Not cured enough for me to unmold. It's a little bit soft. If I push my nail into it, it leaves a dent, but it's certainly ready for the next coat. So I've mixed up some Platinum 360 Plus. It's a relatively thin resin. It's a medium viscosity, I would say, but it sets up pretty quick. So um, hopefully by tonight, I'll be able to unmold everything. <laughs> The, the base and, and the top. So into that resin, I have put some of this Pearl White Luster by Color Passion. I was in two minds about whether I wanted to do a mica powder for the shimmer or whether I just wanted to do like a plain white pigment paste, um, you know, like, like my Bloom or other white, white pigment pastes. And then I thought, I was looking at my whites and I thought, oh, how about this one? It's got the best of both because it's got a bit of a shimmer to it bit of a luster so um, yeah I just did a big scoop of that so I did uh, 125 grams of A and 55 grams of B and hopefully hopefully this will be enough just to cover it there's not a lot of room left because I put quite a lot of clear in to cover those fins that were poking up but there still is definitely enough to do a nice background color I won't put any more in just yet <laughs> I'll make sure that I'm not gonna overfill it just push that to all the edges really hoping this is gonna turn out pretty you guys oh, never done anything like this before like with you know <clears throat> flowers and stickers uh, I'm just not sure because because of all those waves on the top from the fins, you know, whether we'll actually be able to see much of the the bee. I'm not sure. This little flower here has got a bit of a higher point to it, so hopefully I'll hopefully I can cover that off. Um, otherwise, I can just get my little snippers. <laughs> we'll just snip it away. There we go. It's gone. That was just a little higher piece there all right now i've got a little bit more room so i just put a little bit more in whoops that was a bit fast spread that out okay <laughs> i think i put a bit too much in there <laughs> just over there all right let's um move that now if by some chance you do end up putting more resin in on something the best way to get it off is just lightly put a piece of paper towel over the top like that and just lift it up and that will take off that extra little bit uh, of resin that you've you've put in there I should have just gone a bit slower but you know you're all watching me so I was trying to hurry but yeah, <laughs> let it let it level itself. All right, so that's that's pretty much it. Uh, you can just give it a light spray with some isopropyl. Try not to torch your molds. You'll be sorry. You will fuse them with the resin. I've done it. I've done it. So I know. I can tell you from experience. Don't do it. Don't torch it. All right. <clears throat> if it's a very deep mold. You know, and you're not getting anywhere near the edges but because there's so so many little bits of silicone um, I would be worried that I'd be torching you know some of some of these even though if I'm trying to get in the middle I might be torching those I haven't turned it on so yeah just just be careful all right that's it hopefully uh, we can uh, unmold later on today about six or eight hours okay I've left it another day it's bright and early just had my, my morning coffee the waiting was killing me, but hopefully it'll be worth it. All right, let's 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 start. This is the deepest end right here at the body, so I think I'll do that last. Hopefully it'll just peel out nice and easily because it's a really shiny, shiny mold. As you can see, it just peels out easily. It's not too many little areas where silicon can get stuck in this one like you know no toes and feet and <laughs> antennas things like that and so it's pretty easy pretty easy one it's just that bit there i guess that you just have to push 
like so, but again, not difficult to get out. A couple of little bits of resin that went and sat on the top. Look at that! Oh gosh, how did I get this little bit out here that was sitting just on the top there? Uh, what can I use? What can I use? Oh! <laughs> just sitting on top, little bits of little tongs. All right, so there we go. Perfect. Ready for the next use. Um, I will link my fish mold for you down below. And uh, as of today, it's in my Amazon store. So if you're in the States, you don't want to buy from Australia, which is fair enough. Uh, I'll link the Amazon store below for you as well. All right. <clears throat> now that's out of the way. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. The thing I'm worried about is because of all the ripples on, on the other side, we might not be able to see the, the, um, the bee all that well, but let's have a look anyway. Let's have a little look and see what we've got. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. I hope it's worked. <gasps> oh, shut the front door, you guys. It did work. <gasps> look at that. You can see the bee perfectly, even though it's got the ripples over the top. <gasps> oh, my gosh. And there's the other one. There's mummy bee and baby bee. Well, I think they're all the same size. And there's our flowers. And then, of course, we've got this little raised fin on the top here. Is that the dorsal fin? Dorsal fin, yes. These pectoral fins, dorsal fins. And then are the clear... Oh, the eyes! Look at the eyes! There's so much to look at. I haven't even looked at the eyes. There's the eyes. <clears throat> oh, they've worked perfectly. <gasps> they've worked perfectly. Wow. My gosh, oh, that is gorgeous. This might be the, my new favourite piece, you guys. <gasps> what do you think? Here's a side view of it. And you can see from here how I was telling you about like some areas are thicker than others. So how thick that is there. And then we come down here and it's quite thin just there. So this is why I was having to just leave a little bit of area just for that white top coat. And then it goes back up again and back down and then over here it's quite thin again and then up here it's quite thick again so yeah it's um it's really nice and nicely sculpted oh my gosh you guys i love it i love it i love it so you can't i guess you can't really see <laughs> I was oh no see how i did a i did a flower like right there underneath the white like in his chin basically you can't really I mean I guess you can you can kind of see it in there you can just see that there's some some color in there if you look really carefully you can see it and because it's got liquid in there you know how when you're looking through water when you're in a swimming pool you look at the bottom everything's kind of distorted and looks bigger so it kind of looks like that because it's a bit deeper but that's kind of why I did this just because you don't really need to see what's going on in there you've got all this and this, oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to go and show my husband. Oh, my God. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, and like I said, I've got other stickers. I don't think they're stickers. But look, I don't think you can see the edges. Probably, I guess the only thing I probably could have done a little bit better is maybe put a couple of flowers um, in the tips there, kind of overlapping, just so it didn't look as if there was that, you know, cut rounded bit there, um, sort of overlapped on underneath this like a flower there a flower there next time like sort of how i did that there that little flower just so that you didn't wouldn't see that definite cut or if you were good at cutting exactly around that you could do that but yeah i think a, just a couple of flowers there would just sort of disguise that line but apart from that i think it is stunning there is not i, I was just going to say there's not one bubble but i just saw there there. So that let's resin. No, did I use that's resin? No, I didn't. No, I didn't this time. I used platinum. I used the platinum. Oh my gosh! I've got two deep pour resins. The one's the um, the platinum river table, which is this one, um, and then there's the let's resin deep pour. The deep pour takes a little bit longer to to cure up, but this is the um, the platinum, and um, I'll link this one for you down below as well. So I think those are the only two little bubbles 
in the whole thing and like I didn't use a pressure pot or anything like that so really happy with that look at this little one I just noticed this little one on the corner here little one there <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Hope you've enjoyed my bee fish. And uh, yeah, let me know what you'd put in there. Like I said, I've got horse. I've got a horse that I want to try and put in. I don't know how I'm going to work that. Um, I've got some um, flowers that I want to put in as well. Um, it's You could just leave it on your coffee table as a piece of art. You could stand it up on your bookshelf would stand up quite nicely like that. Look at that. It stands up all by itself. Um, you could hang it on the wall with a little hook. Um, you could put some hooks underneath here, hang it on the wall, put a few hooks there, hang your keys on there. When you come through the front door, you could put one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Five hooks. Stand it up, hang it on the wall, have your, your keys hanging off it, things like that. So, yeah, I think there's a few different things you could do with it. Let me know what you would do with it. Because we do like our resin pieces to be useful, don't we? So, yeah, let me know. All right. I will take a photo of it for you. Mm, it's been raining every day, non-stop for a week. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get outside and get some sunshine. So this might have to do. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll see you real soon for the next video. We'll do another fish. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye for now.